Hi friends, this is Sheetal and welcome to my channel Creative with Sheetal Team. So today's vlog is a bit special. I want to share something with you all which is never shared with you all for so long. This is one of my uh, GB collections which I have. If you want to check the review then let me kindly let me know. I will put up a vlog on this. But as for a brief, I am um, just showing you a glance of the whole thing. Um, there are some uh, remakes of the GB which I have created and they are very 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 old and so those ones are there so out of all I'll be just showing you some of them so take a look so these ones were very old very very old as you can see uh, I had uh, recreated them uh, by painting them they were really chipped off and um, they'd almost uh, been corroded because it's been a very long time and these are six of them out of that I'm going to share three one of three one with you all uh, so this is it so let's open it and check out first and after that we'll be continuing with the DIY uh, project which we have lined up that is this box so let's rush So this is a cake topper as you can see, um, it's a Minnie Mouse of Disney character and uh, the color had really chipped off, everything was dusty and uh, so I had to really, um, I just wanted it back again as new and so I created again and it was a really special one uh, so that's the reason why I uh, repainted it and created new again I know I had to show you the before and after but due to time duration I could not uh, record that part so this is it see the gloss all around and the finishing with copper metal color over the color so this is it it's cute uh, so moving ahead with uh, the second one uh, which is uh, my own creation a DIY project which I had created this one uh, it was a very old one I think in the year 2010 uh, yes it's very old and this was one of my free, uh, first uh, polymer clay collection which I created that time I was a bit passionate about making the polymer clay chibis so um, this was my first chibi I'd ever created it's a golden um, bunny with a carrot in its hand so this is it guys kind of cute but it is not a proper finish I can see it's I can imagine it's the first one I created so this is it and uh, in the same year 2010 I had created one more uh, for the second time uh, sorry uh, created the second GB that is this and it is very close to my heart because uh, this is one of my favorites and the color had almost corroded and chipped up over the time so I had to recreate it so yes it guys and um, it has come out really well the time the way it was before I know and again uh, I'd not show you all the, the making of it uh, but surely I will make one GB for you all if, if by your request if you'd like to see one um, so see how um, the it's beautiful it's come out the whole side of the back and the front was all chipped off I repainted it and uh, varnished it I probably might have had the guess what it is yes it's um, a kobai doll as you can see the 
flowers and the fan makes a real difference to the whole costume of this beautiful um, doll and the every detailing has been taken care of while painting and sculpting it so this is it guys uh, what do you call it it's a kimono doll right uh, it's a kimono kawaii doll and so this is it guys take a look and then we'll get back to our diy project let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite as for now and the rest three i'll be showing you all in the next vlog i'll coming up with some new diy projects So stay tuned and let's continue with the DIY project. So uh, most of my viewers, uh, they know about this um, this box. They might have seen it in my previous vlog. Uh, it's a DIY project uh, vlog which had this kettle. And so today we are going to um, do a DIY painting on this beautiful little kettle. It is not huge, it is quite small but in front of the camera it's looking big. So here's it guys and uh, we'll be giving it a basic color. Simple colors makes things look very beautiful. I thought of making a Madhubani painting or some sculpting around but um, as for beginners it's a bit difficult to do a direct uh, design over the uh, painting. Um, so I thought of keeping it simple for the beginners and so we'll be so to begin with I have just added um, pencil sketch marks over the kettle as per guidelines we'll be using the grammar acrylic colors um, um, this uh, uh, link of this camera acrylic color collection I'll be putting up the link below so kindly check it out whoever's missed it and it is not sponsored it is a purchased tubes so moving ahead uh, see that you don't uh, forget to use a masking tape if you don't want it smudged or mixing up with the colors for the beginners uh, it's optional actually you can even do a freehand so starting off with my favorite color crimson lake uh, 063 is one of my favorite colors i'm starting it so let's begin painting the tip of this on uh, the top of the skittle and um, using brush number eight um, it has a nice thick bristle so and a narrow tip which helps me and makes it convenient for me to uh, cover uh, color the corners and the boundaries and make, so it keeps it neat and simple so as we now we can see we are just using simple colors and uh, and even uh, this uh, project I am trying to say that even if you're using simple colors without any design it then too looks really really beautiful and elegant so enjoy this vlog and uh, I'll see you after a while
so guys I enjoyed making this vlog and uh, this is the final look of the product after painting applying the acrylic colors over it as per the combinations uh, once you start painting you definitely get ideas of which colors to use and how to match it and to maintain this color so that it doesn't chip off and maintains last for a longer time I have used um, a varnish spray which is a varnish gloss uh, as for caution measures I've been spraying this uh, over the time just outdoors and keeping out of the reach of children so kindly do so and avoid any kind of problems so after you have varnished it you can keep it aside and let it set for some time and then you will see the beautiful gloss of the varnish emerging from this beautiful kettle and see the finishing of it once it's done I really like the way it's come out and as I said uh, once you start painting you get a lot of ideas how to do about the combination of colors so this is it guys so till then do like share and subscribe to my channel and wait for my coming vlog and stay tuned stay safe bye